Hey guys, so I have another video for you. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than I've done in the previous videos. Uh, the past few days it's been exceptionally cold here in Montreal, uh, so uh, I've decided that this would be a great idea for a video. Not to mention, I haven't had time to fully film one of my normal videos, but I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. This is a question that I've asked, been asked a few times already, uh, mainly on Instagram, is kind of what do you wear for gloves in cold weather? Uh, and I had this question actually uh, several months ago before the winter hit us here in Montreal. So I feel like this is going to actually be a good video. It's going to resonate with you. Um, and we're just, just going to jump right into it. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Valorette Markov Pro 2.0 glove. Uh, it's this glove here. And this is a photography specific glove. Now, you guys are probably wondering what is a photography specific glove. There are other brands that make similar type gloves. And just before we get into it, guys, uh, this is not a sponsored or paid video. This is a video that I wanna make to help you guys make a better choice in purchasing your gloves, or your gear for that matter. Uh, and I paid full price for these, no discounts. I paid for everything. Uh, and this is just fully my opinion about these gloves. Um, and just before we get into it, I would definitely buy it again. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So. With all that, let's just get into the, the video. So the Valorette Markov Pro 2.0 comes with a couple of cool features that actually makes it a, a specific glove for photography. Now, I do use these gloves for pretty much everyday use. I drive in them, they're that comfortable. Uh, but really what makes them uh, special is the fact that they're actually fully lined with a merino wool. So full, they're super soft inside, which is the one thing. Uh, secondly, uh, and one of my favorite features, uh, which makes it actually so useful as a photography glove, is it actually has a pointer finger and the thumb actually peel back and have these little magnets that clip together like this. That's really cool. Now, what's really cool is actually both sides do it. So depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed, this will work for you uh, and shouldn't be an issue. Personally, I only ever use my right hand. Uh, I have all the controls that I need to use that way. On my left hand, only maybe once or twice that I've had to because I had to like fiddle with some controls, but for the most part, it works really well just as is. Um, and that's just a really, really cool feature. I know some other gloves that have this out on the market. They use like clips instead of magnets, but I think the magnet way works really, really well because you don't actually have to like snap them together. You just bring them back and they just clip together and it's pretty cool design actually. So some other cool features that these gloves have is actually is these little pockets on the back of the hand on both gloves. Now on the right hand, they're completely empty. You can put like an SD card in there and maybe keys if you wanted to or any sort of small thing. You can even put in some hand warmers. Uh, I haven't tried that, but it looks sizable that you could probably do that. Uh, on the left hand though, it actually has a, I'll show you one second. It actually has this little attachment and it's actually attached to the glove. Now this tool, I didn't actually know what it was at the time, but once I looked into it, it's actually to do up, let's say like your uh, your tripod collar mount. So I don't personally have one on my lens because of how light it is, but if you were to actually attach, let's say one of the standard, like I think they're quarter inch uh, threads, this might actually be useful. If you don't have a little thumb screw version, you might actually have to get in there with a screwdriver. So this can actually help you with that a lot. Um, like I said, I haven't needed to use it, uh, but it is kind of cool that I still have that as an option. So if you go into Valorite's website, they actually have a bunch of different gloves. It's not the only option that they make. Uh, they have them all the way from like, cool-ish weather all the way to like deep, deep Arctic uh, cold weather. Uh, so these gloves slots right in the middle. Um, they are a little bit too warm to use on say a brisk fall day. Uh, and on days like today and yesterday, I found that I actually had to layer them up. Now, conveniently, when I bought them, I actually also got the Valorant uh, liners for them. And they're basically just a very simple liner. Um, they do say on the website to actually size for the same size for the glove and the liner and I actually found out to be true so I take a large for guys for reference uh, and this liner and this glove and both in a large fit totally fine and actually as of today and yesterday uh, they were actually getting really 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 warm so something to consider when sizing out gloves for yourself so lastly some of the cool things about these gloves actually the cuff they have a nice deep cuff that actually with my jacket 
work really, really well to cover up. Um, so that's a nice little feature. I haven't had any snow or any cold air kind of leak into my arms while shooting, uh, and that's something that I really liked. Um, it's also going to have some pretty good dexterity, actually. Like I was saying before, I use these for driving, and I can actually operate buttons and you know feel the steering wheel and all that kind of thing. Especially even while using the camera, like you can, it's it's really nice. You can really just they feel good. You want to keep them on your hands, and never once did my hands within reason for the temperature they're rated for, actually feel cold. Like right now, it's about, it's actually the warmest has been throughout the whole day and it's probably like minus 10, minus 11. Uh, and these are perfect. I mean, it varies depending on if you're always cold, one of those people who are always cold or you're always warmer than normal. But for myself, I find that these are excellent for this weather and has actually made me enjoy winter, winter photography and hiking a lot more and that actually is like actually another cool thing i do wear these hiking too uh, and never haven't i had an ever an issue of being cold or even snow for that matter while actually handling snow kind of creep into the little like slits they have these are pretty good for that kind of thing so i definitely definitely would recommend these gloves uh if you guys were looking for something uh you know specific to photography now to wrap everything up i want to do state something that i do understand that these are not cheap gloves all in all, I think with taxes, I pay like $100, $110 with them, with shipping, I think it was. And I know that's not affordable to everyone. But then again, this is photography. Nothing really is is, is affordable. Uh, and I am a true, true believer in everything I do, not just photography, but truly everything I do, that buy once, buy good quality, you'll never have to buy again. Uh, and that's kind of what I thought about it. Can you get away with cheaper gloves? Sure. Can you find, let's say, ski gloves or bigger mittens? Sure. But for me, I am a type of person who I know I'm gonna spend the money, they're gonna last, and they have lasted me so far for roughly three months that I've had them. Um, and they're showing me no signs of wear whatsoever. And so I do expect to see many, many years of uh, use and enjoyment out of these gloves. So I just really wanna make a point there that I do understand that they're pricey. Not everybody's gonna be willing to pay an spend $100 on gloves, I get it, but that's why we have options. So. That's my review on the uh, Valorette Markov Pro 2.0 gloves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit short and I know it's a little bit different, but I'm hoping to mix it up and hoping that this can answer or help uh, people who are looking for a set of purpose designed photography gloves. Um, I just want to say that I want to thank all of you. As of the filming of this video, I think I'm at 65 subscribers and this is going to be my fourth video. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Every comment you've sent, every follow I have uh, here or on any other social media platform. Um, I've had so many people reach out to me and tell me that I'm doing an amazing job. Um, but trust me, I am so clueless on what I'm doing here. So it's amazing to have people behind me to tell me I'm doing something right. That is so, so cool. So guys, without any further ado um, just I'm gonna wrap this video up and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the normal slideshow of photos from this week make sure to share this with your friends give me a subscribe if you haven't already uh, also click the bell it's something that I haven't been saying before but click the bell if you want to be up, uh, updated when I upload new videos I'm trying to upload once every week uh, and if you have any questions send me a message I will answer you I want to hear what you guys want to see so if you want also that's a good point I bring this up put down in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like to see do you like uh, gear reviews do you want to see a how-to or do you like the how I've normally been doing it for previous theaters where I just take you along my normal photography walk is that interesting is that all you guys want to see so just guys let me know anyways have yourself a great day and we will see you in the next video peace guys